Basically, let me introduce. I am Akshay. He is Pranav. We will cut short as according to sir. So basically, what we are here to do, what we are here to do is optimization. We are working on the optimization toolbox. So what our exact job was here? Let me brief you through with what we have done. It's so our job was to uh, make a solver in Scilab, make a function in Scilab which will solve uh, mixed integer linear programming and mixed integer non-linear programming problems, right? So, okay. So what mixed integer linear programming stands for is. Uh, so uh, there's a linear equation, and in this equation we have some uh, constraints where there will be some constraints uh, which will be given by a matrix A, and we'll give a matrix B. There will be some equality constraints. We'll give uh, bounds on each variable. And now, what different in our program, what different in our functions is we have to restrict some of the variables to be integers and not real numbers or not. Uh, uh, non integers so if we want to uh, restrict some uh, numbers to be integers we have to provide that data input differently so basically mixed integer linear programming solves this equation and uh, for the uh, objective function we have to find a maximum or a minimum value that is what uh, our program for integer linear programming does so uh, basically let's so what CBC does is, uh, so we have linked a library named CBC. CBC library is for mixed integer linear programming. Now we'll show you the analogous function in MATLAB for the same is integer linear programming int lint prog. What we have implemented is CBC int lint prog for Scilab. Now we have tested the function, we have used the function and we have found similar results for uh, different. So this is one problem which we have coded. So this is a .m file which we have ran on MATLAB. So this is uh, directly from the MATLAB's uh, main site. So this, this is the function f which we need to minimize. So integer constraint 2 states uh, that the variable x2 has to be integer and constraint to those conditions that minus x1 minus 2x2 should be uh, less than 14, less than equal to 14, minus 4x1 minus x2 should be less than equal to 33, 2x1 plus x2 should be less than equal to 20. So these are the conditions and with the given conditions the constraint is uh, integer constraint of second uh, second variable should be integer. So when we ran the file on MATLAB, we got this output. So this is the output which we got on MATLAB. So we can see that uh, the second number is an integer according to this and the function value or the minimum value which we had to find was 59. Now for the same we have written a dot uh, sci code and now we'll show you how our function works. So so basically this is the code, same thing, same function, same integer constraints, A, B, and we'll pass some extra parameters. If we don't want to pass parameters, we can put a list, maybe something of that sort. And then after that, we run the function, so we get the same output, we can see. Uh, so we have calculated everything uh, apart from the points, apart from the value, we have also tried to calculate relative gap, absolute gap, number of nodes used, number of visible points, number of iterations, constant violation, and uh, the message that optimal solution is found. It is, so it's at 6.5 and 7 and the function value is 59. So it is same to what we get in MATLAB, right? Uh, also we have provided in this function, we have overloaded this function. So basically our job was to take uh, input from Scilab, convert, uh, do error checks on it, convert it to the format which the C++ library can understand. How many such uh, functions you have tested? Uh, sir, we have three. No, 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 not you have three. Go, go back, you exec something, no? Yes. Ah, yes, so, so okay. You, you are a replacement for that CBC integer line program. Yes. Okay. Your, your specification is that CBC integer whatever that program, linear program should be equal to MATLAB integer linear program function. Yes. It should behave the same way. Yes. That is your specification. Yes. Correct. Yes. This particular thing has been tested with how many inputs? So we have used uh, around 24 error checks if we give integer constraints to be a non-variable negative numbers. How, how many test cases have you run which show exactly same result on this and this? So around 10 or 14. Okay. Fine. Oh, 10 okay. or 14. In which way did you generate the 10 or 14? So we found, so these examples are very specific. So we need to find these examples from a, a website which has mixed integer linear programming problems. So for error checks, we can put random data. For error checks, we can put garbage values, and we can. No, no, but no, no, for I proper examples, we have used a site. We have uh, found examples online. We have ran it on both the machine, uh, both the systems, and we have uh, checked it for okay. ten fully. So that is working example. Yes. Okay. Error code. Yes, sir. Ten by ten to fourteen includes error. 
no sir error codes uh, are written uh, so we have uh, checked error codes on our own so we are not counting t uh, error the checks in our 10 to 14 integer int whatever that uh, matlab hmm. that also produces the same errors yes sir not not exactly the same message but our uh, our system will tell you uh, that why not exactly the same message copyright issue by matlab we cannot actually error message there is no copyright what do you mean you are wrong i cannot say you are wrong because matlab says you are wrong sir we can say this error has been found but we cannot copy the same message that matlab provided that is exactly what i say you are wrong is matlab message does that stop everybody from saying you are wrong sir i we cannot argue with matlab we don't have to. no there is no question of arguing with matlab if matlab wants to skylab then they have to sue sue them that you are wrong is my copyright nobody else in the world can say you are wrong there is no such copyright for error message please okay cannot have a copyright for error message so but there is no issue in changing the message matter. you show me otherwise the message will have to say you you are supposed to reproduce their thing that is self is copyright violation copyright violation by copying their vocabulary and then you say error message i cannot give so we are not copying the function we are trying to replicate what they have done so we have open what, source libraries same input same output okay except error message i will not give what is this nonsense we run a error check uh, script right so it says something it is done i agree you have done enough testing next follow yes so uh, this function runs fine so also what interesting thing about this function is we have provided no interesting thing next function <laughs> all right so uh, there was just the mps file which is available so we can run the mps file as well we have overloaded the function in uh, scilab so okay not an issue so this done anything more than, than yes sir we have we have also included one more library bonmin bonmin is for mixed integer non linear programming so now what non linear programming is in this mixed integer quadratic programming so this is the equation uh, where this is the hessian this is the function these are the constraints again the same thing and again for uh, integer constraint we have passed this thing uh, so this is a completely different library and now we have written a function uh, int qpip opt so there's no uh, there's no analogous function in matlab so matlab doesn't solve this kind of problems so this is something very interesting and we will roll matlab by writing that Well, when you solve it, you cannot give my error message, <laughs> and then right you are wrong. That MATLAB cannot say ever. So, but in development, it's it's okay to stay away from issues, right? No, that's okay. Okay. So. Uh, If you done something with MATLAB doesn't have, then you have copyright. So, 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 so this this function. They have to say that they owe it to you. So, okay. so MATLAB cannot technically claim copyright on us because we are open source. No. But when they write that function, they have to say that the functionality has been derived from Akshay Mitra. Ni, I do sue for him. I don't want to talk about it. The functionality is not original. all right so uh, this is again uh, a library has been linked we have done the same thing for this we have uh, linked it with scilab we take it take input push the arguments to c++ code take the uh, generate necessary error messages if there are any or return the output if it's optimal return the messages how it has been solved and with all all the constraints and all, everything so uh, we can show you and we can run more examples if you want to so also for this function uh, if some if there are advanced users who use bonmin for the regular purposes they can add a dot opt file which is an additional feature so they can give extra commands extra advanced uh, user specific commands so it's uh, building the library it's ge uh, generating help so we have generated help and proper documentation for how you can call the function how uh, what are the exact routines for calling the function So this is for int qpip opt. Uh, we, are, we are not giving any integer constraints right now. Status is zero. That means it's uh, optimal solution. Function value where it is found. Uh, show the help. So uh, all right. So this is basically what optimization toolbox is for. Optimization toolbox does this thing and uh, yes. Only only one thing is that he what he he told uh, really this is a point to be noted that we have copied the function. No, right not. so what i'm saying the functionality has been copied so i i may have expected that your functionality may be having something different taste than the matlab maybe the sequence of the variable passing is different 
maybe the output has got one more parameter available so that it becomes the indigenous syllab identity rather than saying that the we have same functionality rather than rather ma like no, but MATLAB. The philosophy of MATLAB, uh, Scilab is that we want to uh, make people switch from MATLAB to Scilab. We know all this thing. So we are talking something different. We are not here to compare Scilab MATLAB. But I am saying that what he has raised the issue that the functionality is similarly putting, we may have put some plus. Yes, and then, then, then uh, we may have got the better the thing than the MATLAB. We should not say that we have y yes, sir. similar. We have say we, we have better. The integer linear programming is not MATLAB copyright. It is a pure mathematics, and the result is going to be same. Two plus two is going to be four. Either it is a MATLAB, Scilab, or whosoever on the earth. Two plus two is going to four. Two plus two is five. I can say you are wrong. <laughs> you may not be equal to four. <laughs> All right. So this is what uh, this is what our exact work was. So y if anybody wants to check out the work, they can go to our GitHub link and they can uh, contact us later on if they want to know more. Thank you.